Project Upstart is a collection of processes and procedures that has been shown to decrease the time to treatment in acute ST elevation MI, known as STEMI, whether that treatment is angioplasty or fibrinolytics. Upstart is an acronym short for the use of procedural standardization to reduce recognition to reperfusion time in ST elevation MI. It's simple, time is muscle. Time to reperfusion plays a crucial role in salvaging a heart damaged during an acute MI. In the first two or three hours, damage occurs quickly. When comparing time from infarct to myocardial salvage, we can see that shortening treatment time early in an infarct can substantially decrease the amount of damaged myocardium. Conversely, even a short treatment delay early on moving from point D to F is much more harmful than a similar length delay later in the process. Thus, we again see the value of early recognition followed by early reperfusion. Let's briefly overview STEMI detection and management in the emergency department. Screening ECGs are being obtained from various sources, including triage staff, nursing staff, and possibly pre-hospital personnel. These screening ECGs are then presented to the ER physician for quick evaluation. If a probable STEMI is detected, a STEMI alert is enacted, and a STEMI alert packet is promptly opened. At this point, the STEMI alert checklists are distributed. They help guide the STEMI alert process, ensuring that it runs smoothly. During the STEMI alert, data sheets A and B are completed. After the STEMI alert is finished, the checklists and data sheets are collected and sent to their respective destinations. Key to the process is a concept of a STEMI alert pack. And this pack is nothing more than a set of brightly colored papers that for each provider involved in a STEMI alert has those exact instructions tailored to your institution to make sure that when a STEMI rolls in the door, by reading your sheet, you know exactly what to do to treat this patient as fast as possible. Upstart also integrates into the process simple data collection to facilitate quality improvement. We've tried to incorporate these key points into a flexible system that allows adaptation to any situation. There are four key actions essential to the success of the Upstart STEMI recognition and treatment process. Number one, expedite STEMI recognition. Follow the Upstart screening ECG protocol in an effort to recognize STEMI more quickly. Number two, utilize a STEMI alert packet for every suspected STEMI. If you suspect a STEMI, open the packet. Three, complete the two data sheets. We can improve what we don't measure. And four, ensure proper data management. Make sure the information goes where it needs to. These four actions highlight important junctures or decision points that can influence the speed of treatment. As mentioned, key action number one is expedite STEMI recognition. The only way this can be accomplished is by obtaining screening ECGs on all those patients that have even a slight probability of having a STEMI. Obviously, the 60-year-old male chain smoking with severe epigastric pain merits an immediate ECG, but how about more atypical presentations? For example, the 38-year-old female with epigastric pain, nausea, and vomiting, or the 78-year-old with shortness of breath and dizziness. Statistically speaking, these quote, atypical presentations are just as likely to be suffering from a STEMI as the first patient. That is why we have designed a clear and concise screening ECG protocol as part of Upstart. The simple one-page form is placed in key areas of your emergency department and clearly dictates who needs a screening ECG. When triage is busy or the ER is full, it's all too easy to skip screening ECGs on those patients which we consider low probability. 
However, this is a surefire recipe for missing STEMIs. Don't do this. Always rely on the screening ECG interpreted by a physician to evaluate for STEMI. If the patient fits the criteria, do the ECG. Let's take a closer look at Upstart screening ECG protocol. For example, any patient greater than 30 years old experiencing any of the following, chest pain, chest pressure, heartburn, heart racing, heart too slow, syncopal episode, new onset stroke symptoms, difficulty breathing. Very obvious symptoms, all of which may indicate a STEMI in progress. These patients require an ECG within five minutes, regardless of location. Show these ECGs immediately to a physician for verification that STEMI is not in progress. One additional source of screening ECGs that is important in the early detection of STEMI are ECGs obtained in the field on patients by emergency medical services. These ECGs or their interpretation are then transmitted to the emergency department and the information is integrated into the ER physician's decision-making process. Pre-hospital ECG technology allows for recognition of STEMI even prior to patient arrival and also allows for pre-activation of the STEMI treatment system leading to earlier reperfusion. The utilization of pre-hospital ECG technology in the decision-making process is becoming more common and Upstart allows for full utilization of this information within your system. We cannot emphasize enough the crucial gatekeeper role that the screening ECG plays in the detection of STEMI. Without early recognition, there can be no progress towards reperfusion. And remember, time is muscle. Most likely, adherence to the screening ECG protocol will result in more ECGs being done in your emergency department. However, the benefit to every patient who has their unexpected STEMI diagnosed on a screening ECG is well worth the effort. The second key action in the success of the upstart process it is utilization of a STEMI alert packet. This bright red packet should be utilized each time a potential STEMI is identified. When a STEMI is identified, any member of the ED team can open this packet and distribute its contents. Make sure you know where the STEMI alert packs are located in your emergency department.